Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Tyrone. We back. So today I'm be covering the Incarnon Dual Liker, and I just want to say that these things are awesome. These things are god tier weapons for melee wise, at least, especially with the Incarnon ones. After the bow was disappointing and the Furex was disappointing, this one right here is awesome. So the ceramic dagger might have started a wave of good melee weapons from these Incarnon Genesis. And I will say that this thing does poison by default as well. So it's like a hot knife through butter when versus Corpus. But even when not fighting Corpus, it still just bleeds everything to death. I was very disappointed when I selected the Incarnon Atmos because that thing was kind of butt cheeks. But I am so happy that I took these dual icors and now these things are extremely good weapons. With the introduction out of the way, let's go look at the evolutions that this thing's running. So for our first option at evolution 2, I'll be taking the increased damage at plus 90 and 5 additional combos on targets affected by toxin because this allows you to build up combo lightning fast. And you can actually throw out a heavy attack here and there and don't have to worry about it because you will get your combo back in half a second. Now for our th up third option, I take the plus 7 second combo duration because it helps counter the negative of my Riven mod. And for the final one, I take status chance plus 34%. The, all the other options are just for utility. So with that last evolution adding plus 34% status chance, our weapon goes up to a flat 49% base status chance. After Weeping Wounds is maxed out, we're going to be sitting at 280% status chance with this weapon. So that is about 3 statuses every swing we do. Taking a look at this weapon's stats, we'll see that it has a very nice split in damage, with impacting puncher being very low, but slash and toxin being high. So. This thing will apply Toxin more than it will Slash because Toxin has I think about a 2% chance higher to get procced over Slash. Now at the same time, we can put Incarnus Mandible in our build to completely overwrite that and have Slash be the carry. And here will be the build that I'll be using. Just your average condition overload crit weapon build. Um, now the reason that I will be using Carving Mantis is because Carving Mantis applies more Slashes than any other combo for dual swords. Now you can see that as long as we are not moving, whether we're blocking or not, we will perform a forced slash on our combos. Now a good replacement for the Riven mod, I would say 100% to put in Carnus Mandible to increase your slashes. This will allow you to not only force slash from your combo, but also get slashes way more naturally from just status chance alone. Also wanted to mention that uh, when you get into the Carnus form, you get this cute little effect of when you kill an enemy, it'll leave a little cloud that does some toxic damage over time. Now the damage it deals is very booty cheeks and will kill nothing at any high level. It is pretty good at low level killing mobs, especially Corpus. It leaves those toxic clouds and it deals pure toxin damage which will just completely ignore the shield to get right through them at a low level. I can 110% suggest that this weapon be selected for your weekly in Karnon Genesis. Now I know that the bow and bow in Karnon and the Furax in Karnon melee weapons are a horse shit. But this one right here, we got a keeper right here, man. This is a very good one. And I'm not sure if this is as good as the Ceramic Dagger. But I, I have seen the Ceramic Dagger performing pretty well. But I will say this thing is extremely good. Extremely, extremely good. Well, I think I've showed you everything I did want to show you with these Incarnate and Dual Ikra. Now, just want to let you know the background gameplay. There's no Warframe buffs. My Loki has nothing on that will increase war weapon damage. So he's killing this effectively with zero buffs. Imagine a Roar in there, a Zada's Whisper, and dude, you're going to be one-shotting things until you get bored of it. With all that being said, this has been your boy Tyrone. Like the video, leave a like. Don't, don't. And peace.